Hi, I'm Nancy Ryans. I'm an artist, and this is my painting called New Love. This is a 24 by 30 oil on canvas. It's about the size that I would call a medium size for me. It's not super big. I want to talk a little bit here about the background. The background is very light all over this painting, and it's kind of on the cool side. Even though there's some strong brushwork there, because it's cooler and lighter, it tends to fade into the background, which is exactly what I want for this piece. I want your eye to focus in on this interaction between the mare and her baby. That's the whole focal point of this painting, so that everything that I do here in this piece is supporting this interaction between the mare and baby. And in this area, you see you got a lot of high contrast. There's some sharp edges. This is where the eyes are. So your, your eye, the viewer's eye, will naturally just stay here. Now as we scroll up, we'll see the background as toward the top of the canvas is a little bit cooler even than the bottom. It's a very, very light blue. And again, I want that to fade into the background. And again, light colors will recede. Um, tend, they tend to recede. Cool colors definitely recede. And warm colors advance in the painting. So that cool background allows those two animals to kind of pop out. Now we're going to scroll over to the left and look at her back and her flanks. This is one area where uh, a lot of beginning artists, especially artists who paint animals, will mess up. And I know I did. I know a lot of my students do. But when you look at a, an animal like this with its short hair, one of the things you have to remember here is that her hair, her fur, her pelt, will reflect the color of her surroundings. You'll note that those reflections are not white. A lot of beginning students will make those reflections white and that won't read correctly because she's actually surrounded by blue. So you want to make sure that in this case that those reflections are blue to actually show that she's reflecting the color of her surroundings. Now next we're going to roll down into her legs. Her legs naturally are very, very dark. And there's a potential problem here when you have dark legs like this against a very light background. The viewer's eye will, will tend to be stuck in these areas of light versus dark, these high contrast areas, unless you, the artist, make your, that viewer's eye move out. The way you do that is how I did it here. You make the details on the leg very indistinct. That's one way to do it. The second way is also to make the edges a little bit fuzzy so they're not sharp. So I, what I ended up doing here is I made the edges fuzzy. And you can see that really strongly over in the front on her front legs because she's got such a strong stance. Her front legs are so dark. I wanted to make sure that those legs moved your eye up into the painting rather than having your eye stay stuck there. And you can see the edges of her legs are very blurry. I made sure that the brushwork here blurred the edges of those legs. And there isn't really a lot of detail in the legs. Again, that'll help your eye move up. I'm always, always conscious of movement in a painting. The energy and the movement in a painting is really important to me. Um, I make sure that I help the viewer move their eyes in the direction that I want them to go. So now we're going to be looking at the baby's legs. And the baby's legs weren't as much of a challenge because the baby had pretty light colored legs. And so what I used on the baby was cool colors. You'll see blues, purples, a little bit of the tan of the body. But it was fairly easy to keep that, um, to keep the viewer's eye from being stuck there because naturally that those colors just fade into the background a little bit. But I did keep the legs a little bit fuzzy and indistinct so that your eye moves right up to the focal point, which we're going to go to again, which is the interaction 
of these two animals, their heads nuzzling up next to each other. It's such a sweet little interaction that I saw. It was just hours after the baby was born. And there was just something about this interaction which really caught my attention. I wanted to, everything that I did in this painting, I wanted it to support that interaction. And you see that right here, where these two animals, they're just getting to know each other. Um, they're getting to know each other's scent, their, their sight, you know, just, hi mom, here, here I am. I just want to get to know you and, and it's time for mom to get to know the baby too. So now we're going to look at the whole painting, um, kind of zoomed out a little bit. And you can see that where your eye goes is right to where the two animals are head to head. So for more information about this painting, um, other paintings or prints, workshops that I give, or online classes and in-person classes, please check out my website, nancyryansstudio.com. Thank you for watching.